Hey everyone, welcome back to more uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses Redux with the zombie deck. So, um, yeah, last time we uh, defeated Bosworth, I think, and we had a long-ass fight against Kaiba. Today we're gonna uh, do the uh, final battle of this area against uh, Mada Vedan Fablier, which... I always feel a little uncomfortable saying the name because I have no clue if I'm actually like pronouncing it like right or if I'm just butchering that pronouncing. What I will do first is uh, slightly change the deck to just get a couple of really strong cards in there because honestly uh, this battle is kind of cheap and like this is like the one battle where I don't feel bad using cards like Dark Hole and Monster Reborn and like Raigeki. So like let's see what we have cobbled up. We've got a Dark Hole over here. Uh, for the rest, I don't think any of the other cards we need, so it's just Dark Hole. That's fine. Dark Hole is a really good card for this map. Because <clears throat> often enough, you'll find yourself having very little on the field while he has a lot on the field. But you're, like, you're kind of working with what I'd say is like a limited amount of uh, monsters. I'm gonna actually stay here, as strange as that may sound. I'm, I guess I'm banking off of Pumpkin the King of Ghosts. Like, this is one of those battles that is best described as you get only a couple shots to really hit him, so you have to take those. Another thing is, we have, um, what's his face? We got Dokuro Rider who can walk on uh, Crush, hopefully. He turns the field into a wasteland, but I don't know if he just dies from Crush or not. Place the dark hole here, I suppose. Maybe that can have some usage. That being said, the AI is also relatively passive in this one. Another thing is that we honestly don't have many, uh, Field spell cards. Like, we got two of them. And hopefully that's enough. But we haven't drawn them instantly, and so we don't really have much ground to work on. But we can test our fairy out next turn with Dokuro Rider. Alright, Dokuro Rider, please do your thing. Alright, well, Dokuro Rider's effect does not work on Crush, unfortunately. That is... Um, that makes things a lot harder, put it that way. It's a shame, too. But it's good to know that beforehand. Now, see, that guy is not even going to attack into me for whatever reason. I think I'm just waiting until we get uh, enough to make another uh, mammoth. A thing is time either. What does that thing do again? Or I mean, that's not time either. It's like soul either. Um, all right. When this card enters the turn face up in defense position, all monsters are removed from the respective graveyard and the number. Of these move cards are multiplied by 200. Uh, the result is added to the power, alright. So he gets 200 from every monster in the graveyard. Is it only his own? Or both of our graveyards? 
on both. So at the moment, I mean, that's 600, 800, 1000, 1200 he gets. He get 1200 from that. Luckily enough, we do have a fiend's hand, which we can just place here. At 2900, it really isn't even that impressive. I remember him using it in the last run as well, but that time he got like 5,000 attack in us. So this time he is a little less threatening, but we got rid of it with Fiend Hand anyways. Now this fight is not going to be easy. Oh, so it's not defeated by battle, which I think negates its destruction effect. But you can see, like, he is determined to not uh, battle us. And that's sort of frustrating. Royal decree he has. He just takes his stats, right? Um... Yeah, sure. <clears throat> and then he doesn't want to go into it anymore. Okay, he caught off for hand, which is bad, because now we lose Yami. Um, yeah, good question on what we do next, I think we just wait, right? Oh, 
Royal Decree, that thing being gone is always a good thing, I'd say. That being said, direct damage to the life points is always... Um, halved, and he is standing on a crush space, although... Although we don't uh, actually... Uh, what's his face? We don't actually... Uh, die because of where it stands. I am, however, a little afraid. Curious if he wants to attack into. Like, I'm kind of fine if he attacks with his Rickers, uh, Reaver. Nope, he's a coward. He does not want to do it. Okay, well, we got rid of another royal decree. It's a little weird. He just doesn't want to do anything, really. Like, I'm assuming at this point the AI is read that, like, I've powered up my monsters to a certain degree, and that's why they just don't want to tackle into it. Uh, I'm curious if he goes and actually moves this guy forward. No, he puts it in defense mode now. Let's just get rid of Soul Eater, sure. If that thing had attacked into us, that would have been major. Also, yeah, now, actually, I kind of forgot about the whole fucking, uh, crush thing. Well, that's annoying. Oh, right, here's our second grid member of Goldfine. He has refused. Like, he has actively refused to attack us. Like, if it's not on his terms, he just refuses. Oh, now you want to attack into me. Now he wants to attack into me. Yeah, it's the AI. I think it's just the AI refusing to attack into something that has had a power up. That to me seems like it's the only possible like explanation. Now it dies and that turns that space into uh and also get rid of my mammoth, that's bad, it's really bad. Okay, well, you lose some points, whatever. Suddenly, like, he's, like, revealed his hand or something else. 
that line. He's actually used up a good chunk of his cards. We would beat him up, but... Obviously, well, allow was Slade War just to die to my Fiend's hand. That thing probably got the 2,000 bonus from Ryoku. Another thing, I don't think this version actually has, like, tremendous fire, so... We don't actually have to worry about him, like, depleting our life points with just, like, the spell cards. I also don't think he has just desserts. I do have an idea of what I could do. How many cards does he have left? He's still got 16 and he's not very keen on using them. What? He's actually doing something? Shocking. Uh, yeah, he's near our throats pretty quickly here. And we're not getting what we're really wanting here. Sucks that the snake hair just dies instantly. Um, that thing going into defense mode is a real pain. Um, I think we have no real choice other than to just hit the fat old reset button. Or, you know, we, we can stall out for one more turn. Yeah. 
I guess. Our last pumpkin. We have a wasteland still. It can possibly be used. Yeah, now we just use you to do as much damage to this thing as possible. Which is 400, which isn't much, but it's something. I mean, Carrot Idol is pretty fucking strong, so getting rid of that thing is something. I think he still has 3100, though. On the flip side, there's still 10 cards that we need to somehow get rid of. <clears throat> A rigorous reaver, uh... Obviously not good for us, as that gets rid of some of our remaining cards. But at least we still have Pumpkin, right? Um, right, how many cards does he still have? He has five cards left. And this is what we have left. Sure. Moisture creature. I don't really know what that does. What does he do? While this card is face up in defense position, the opposing leader's powers are rendered ineffective. Uh huh. It's just me and my dragon zombie. He's got no cards of his own. I don't know how many he has in his hand. Is there not like a button I can use to see how much he has in his hand? Guess not.
Well, I guess we're gonna just hope that Zargon Zombie is strong enough to take this thing down. Alright. God damn. Ooh, he's being a coward like usual. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know. If, like, there's nothing we can do. If you don't have any cards, then, like, the AI is passive as fuck. Like, the AI has done zero life point damage by battle to me. All the life point damage I've gotten is because of Ryoku. You know what I mean? It's just that the problem is that the AI is always so immensely passive. That like, I can't do anything at the moment. Alright, well I have one ID, right? Um, fortunately that's sort of blocked by... Uh, the issue of him just not wanting to do anything, and the problem is he has double movement, so he can just hit me here. Like, I was hoping if I could sneak back here, that we can get Dragon Zombie over here, and if we wait like 30 turns, we can have like 6,800 to just smack him in one go, like that. But it doesn't seem like we have that. Ab I don't really know if there's anything I can even do to make him do anything that isn't just me instantly losing. Like if I put you in defense mode, does that encourage you to attack me or something? No, why would you, you passive AI? I mean, I, ha I that's one thing. I absolutely despise the AI and how, like, it just. Like, so often does it just refuse to do anything. Because I can already guarantee you this thing will not attack me 100%. There's no chance in hell this thing will attack me if I walk past here. Like, it's the, the, the strange thing of, like, he can checkmate me, but hasn't done it yet. Like, if I move over here, right? Does this influence him at all? I mean, finally he does something. Shame he didn't want to do it with the other character. Well, I mean, it's all come down to the fact of, is this a monster card, yes or no? He's got two revealed. I mean, it probably is a monster card. I mean, we have no other choice outside of just sacrificing Dragon Zombie, but then it's just like a useless chase. Yeah, that was a... This thing isn't that strong. 
when this card is flip pays up battle stick control I think I might have found our opportunity out of this gonna be a long little day Fuck you! Like, fuck you, man! But my whole strategy was to put Dokoro Rider here so we can... Well, but of course, that moment you had to use him, that bastard. I hate this guy. Like I hate playing this map most of the time because of this. The AI is at its absolute worst to face in this map. Because of how ridiculously passive it plays. Alright, you can fuck off, computer. Yeah, this is annoying. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty fucking stupid, though. Like, I'll give him that. There he just made a misplay. Like, he should have put Moisture Creature over here. Uh, he's gonna do the same thing here again where he's gonna just put this fucking bastard over here That I can't move over there No, why did you have to do that? Oh. Uh. oh, I hate this so much.
Ugh, and they just ignore everything else outside of my deck leader. Like I wish, I wish he put a he could have put him like at some point could have put this guy on the other side to just destroy. I'm not even gonna give you the satisfaction of killing me. Fuck you. Yeah, this fight sucks. I'm just, I'm, I think I'm genuinely upset. Well, hopefully next time we uh, have a better chance at beating him, but... We'll uh, see what happens next time. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.